There's something really intriguing about a beautiful wood-covered bridge. As technology advanced, it basically eliminated this style of architecture. Metal bridges didn't need to be covered because they're not as susceptible to damage from the elements like wood is. At one time, there were over 14,000 covered wood bridges in the USA. That number's dwindled down to close to 900 as of now. Pennsylvania is home to 197 of that 900. Let's take a look at some of the awesome covered wood bridges still left in the state of Pennsylvania. Cheesesteaks, the Eagles, and the Phillies. The home of brotherly love. Welcome to Philadelphia. You know, it was estimated at one time there were over 1,500 covered bridges in the state of Pennsylvania. As technology advanced and we we're able to make our bridges stronger, covered bridges didn't really serve much of a purpose anymore. The point of a covered bridge typically is to keep it from weathering, to, to maintain its integrity as it ages. Why am I here in Philadelphia when we're talking about covered bridges? Because there's no covered bridges here. However, the first covered bridge in Pennsylvania was built right here, Market Street. 1805, it built the permanent bridge right there. Except it wasn't so permanent. In 1875, what happened to a lot of covered bridges happened to permanent bridge right here, fire made of wood, right? It's a fire hazard waiting to happen. Many covered bridges were destroyed by fire, both intentional and accidental. It's interesting to see where the very first covered bridge was constructed here in the state of Pennsylvania. Welcome to Valley Forge, just outside of Philadelphia, about a half an hour or so, depending on traffic. Uh, but this is Knox Covered Bridge. This is probably, of the bridges we're gonna see today, this is probably the most seen. I don't wanna say most popular. It's not the best looking bridge, but it is a very historic bridge, and it is seen by the most eyes due to all the traffic in this area. After being destroyed in 1865 by a flood, which actually has damaged this bridge several times over the years, it was rebuilt. And with the most recent rehabilitation was in 2012. This is a 65 foot long bridge. It's not the most scenic of the bridges. It's got some funky siding and it's falling apart and it really could do for another rehab to be honest with you. The bridge is named after a Pennsylvania Senator, Phil Knox. Phil was a general in the Continental Army. He was also the namesake of Knoxville, Tennessee. So pretty cool bridge, lots of history. Uh, it, it could definitely be better looking. The inside of the bridge is very nice looking, but the outside is just kind of run down. next covered bridge is Wirtz's Red Bridge, which is down Red Bridge Road. Beautiful bridge. This bridge is in Berks County. Originally, there was 37 covered bridges in Berks County. Now there's only five, and this one is closed to traffic. There was an accident in 1959 where a car damaged some of the supports on the bridge, and they repaired the bridge, but then closed it to traffic. It's been closed ever since. In 1978, the bridge got some national recognition, was put on the historic list. The bridge has been restored minorly over the years, but it had a major uh, restoration in 1984 to 1985. The bridge is about 204 feet long, which makes it a pretty significant bridge. What's more unique about these bridges is the atmosphere around them. And this one is just incredible. It's had, you know, all kinds of uh, historic buildings and features, and it's it's a park. Unlike Knox's covered bridge, um, where there's just nothing but you know heavy traffic, 
Uh, you're liable to get hit if you're walking around there too much. I had to dodge cars the whole time I was there. Here is a completely different atmosphere. It's beautiful. There's a beautiful river. There's, you know, all the grounds are maintained. It's shut down to traffic. You can still hear the traffic, but uh, it's, it's definitely a, a much nicer spot. I'm definitely gonna mess this name up. Dre Belbus, I believe, something like that. Uh, it's our next covered bridge in Pennsylvania. It's located near I-78. This is Northern Berks County. I think the community's called Lenhartsville. Uh, there's not a lot of easy access to the base of the bridge. Uh, there's private property signs around and um, landscape that's just not uh, very cooperative with getting down to the base of it so that's why I'm this far away. This is one of the five historic bridges in Berks County. This bridge was built in 1872. It's the second longest at I believe 172 feet. The creek that it crosses is absolutely beautiful. It's called Maiden Creek. It's one of the covered bridges that you can still drive across and I really like to be able to you know experience a bridge like that. I just think it's really cool you know especially with these bridges being so old uh, to maintain that that original theme and to use it for that original theme is just pretty awesome. Academia Pomeroy Covered Bridge. I think for me, this is the best looking bridge of, of the ones that I've seen so far today. This is the longest covered bridge in Pennsylvania. It's in Juanita County. Not sure if I said that correctly or not, probably not. Bridge is about 278 feet long. And it's beautiful. It's definitely maintained really well. The bridge was originally built in 1870. And I think it had a rehab in 2009. The uh, surrounding area, the atmosphere, I, I think it's really pretty. Uh, a nice stream. It's, it's so long. It just goes on forever. It smells incredible. And welcome to the Delville Covered Bridge. Seventh long in Pennsylvania. I think it's 174 feet long. We're now in Perry County, and this is one of 14 covered bridges still left in Perry County. So Perry, Perry County has quite a few. And I'll tell you, coming from the last bridge to this one, it has been some serious country. Uh, I mean, no cell phone reception, farms as far as the eye can see, rolling hills. I mean, it's, it's been beautiful, to be honest with you. Very beautiful. Perry County seems like a very beautiful country area. This bridge was originally constructed in 1889. It crosses the Sherman Creek. Sadly, in 2014, uh, arson took this bridge. And so this is a newer version of what was here. And uh, I, I, I can't even understand what would possess somebody to burn a piece of history like that for no good reason at all. I mean, just, you know. This bridge reopened uh, to pedestrian traffic. You can't get a vehicle on there. Uh, reopened after the arson, you know, they rebuilt it to the same specs that it was. 
in the same location that it was and it was reopened in 2019. That's gonna wrap it up for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed going on a tour of uh, the southeastern part of Pennsylvania, looking at some of the history and the covered bridges. I, you know, it's, it's really interesting. Uh, there's so much history in these areas that we live in and until you travel around and kind of look at it and take it in, uh, you can't appreciate it. So I encourage you to get out there, check these cover bridges out if that's something you're into. If it's not, check out something that does interest you. you there's, like I said, there's so much history in the areas that we live. Uh, you become a much better person when you can appreciate those that you know came before you. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do me a favor, smash the like button, share the video with a family member, a friend that might be interested. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great week.